when glycation occurs in structural proteins, this causes individual proteins to form cross linkages with each other, and this can decrease the elasticity of the tissue. So for example, glycation of the structural protein collagen can affect its function, and in the heart, be a factor promoting heart failure. In bone, this can increase the risk of fracture. When glycation occurs to the protein elastin in the wall of the aorta, this can result in stiffness and promote high blood pressure. Glycation of proteins in the brain, such as the beta amyloid protein, increases the formation of the plaques, which are the cause of Alzheimer's disease. Glycation of proteins in the eye changes their shape and can decrease vision and lead to cataract formation. Glycation of certain growth factors eliminates their function and in, for example, platelet-derived growth factor can result in decreased wound healing with age because of glycation and thus an activation of the growth factor. The presence of advanced glycation end products can trigger inflammatory reactions from the immune system and cause the release of inflammatory signals such as interleukins and tumor necrosis factor, and these signals in excess increase the inflammatory state of the body. The glycation of enzymes decreases enzyme function. So, for example, red blood cells produce antioxidants using the enzyme glutathione S transferase, or the GST enzymes. Glycation of these enzymes decreases the production of antioxidants, and this then increases the reactive forms of oxygen and the oxidation of monosaccharides. The oxidation of monosaccharides makes them more reactive and can then increase the production of the advanced glycation end products, which will then trigger more glycation of proteins throughout the body. There is a receptor of the immunoglobulin superfamily produced by the innate immune system known as RAGE, the receptor for advanced glycation end products. It is normally expressed in some tissues like the lungs, but at low levels in other tissues. Under certain circumstances, like diabetes, chronic inflammation, and neurodegenerative diseases, the expression of RAGE increases. It binds to these uh, advanced glycation end products, and this then stimulates the immune system, increasing the inflammatory state of the body and worsening the effects of diabetes, Alzheimer's, and promoting cancer cell uh, growth and tumor progression.